Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So today, I am going to be harvesting my French breakfast radishes. I'm French! Why do you think I have these outrageous accents? Right here. They are a 23-day. The baby bells are up to 28 days. And it has been exactly 23 days since I planted. Check it out. It's November 8th. And last I planted was October 16th, I believe. So that's 23 days. This one looks like a good size. Look at that. There we go. That's about a normal brec uh, French breakfast radish. We will plant, pick the ones that are looking a little bigger. And also the ones that are too close together. That one didn't form much. And not all of them do. It's really weird. I'm not sure what happens there. So I left 15 in this row that I can harvest in the next couple days and they grow pretty quick once they start bulging. Well, it is November 10th. I'm gonna be harvesting the rest of these French breakfast radishes, but they are ready. Now, not all of them seem to get real big. I mean, that one's decent size. That's decent size. But this is the 25th day since I planted them. And that's it, 25 days. That one's a little small. I might feed that to the chickens. Some good French breakfast radishes. One day after they say they're ready to harvest. I had harvested them um, one day before. So there are 24 days. I did in 23 days, half of them, and then the other half two days later. And you can see the size difference. I mean, they grow so fast. If I would have let them go one more day, they probably would have gotten too big and too spicy. And then this gets a little woody and hard to eat. So it is November 15th. And today is harvest day for these cherry bell radishes. Those look pretty good. I mean, they're not huge. They're a little smaller than I thought they would be. And this row also is those, so... Hmm. Well, that's interesting. I had three growing right next to each other. Boy, and that's a different color. It's purple. Well, it turned out to be a pretty decent harvest. I'm going to go ahead and cut these tops off, and we'll see what we ended up getting with the bulbs. So let's make it easy. I just cut the tops off. All right, let's go ahead and take this to the chickens real quick. At least it's not going to waste if we're not going to eat it. There we go. Not a whole lot. Thought I'd be getting more. Of course, I did harvest some of it over about half of it last week. So I like harvesting in these colanders because then I can just hose it off and it makes it quicker inside. That's it, guys. That's all I got. It's not a lot, but, you know, I did harvest a little earlier this week. I did get one good size one. There we go. That's a good one of the cherry bells. But a lot of these are just funky shaped and not great. So I'm not sure what that's about. Some good little radishes for a salad and stuff. All right. So today is November 29th, and I am going to harvest a couple of these daikon radishes. It's a little early. It's only 38 days since I planted, and these are 45 day, it says. Try to find the biggest ones. They're not quite ready. This one looks pretty big. Let's see. Oh, well, nothing of substantial size, but we're starting to get some, some size on them. But this way I can thin them out a little bit. Well, that one's a little, a little bigger. Now, these, this hasn't fattened up all the way down, so that's interesting. So, you know, this will end up getting all real fat, real big in a couple more days. Um, and, uh, yeah, but I can use these. Probably need one more to be able to make the stew that I'm making. So, that one looks pretty good, but it's on the end, so I want to wanna keep it. These two are pretty close together. Oh, that has just no length at all, but that's all right. We'll just add a little flavor to the stew. So that's what I harvested out of three of them. Not a whole lot. So again, I'm going to wait a couple more days, see how these fatten up. So today I'm going to be harvesting my daikon radish here, but it's a cold rainy day here in South Texas. And it's the perfect time for some chicken noodle soup. I'm going to actually put some daikon radishes in the soup along with some potatoes and even the cabbage I pulled from this bed here. So it's going to be a nice hearty stew it's time to pull some of these and i'm gonna pull quite a few they're they're pretty much ready now they're sticking up out of the ground they're ready to harvest all right so here are the daikon radishes and i want to show you guys the date 
it is December 13th here and that way we can see exactly how long it took before these were ready. Now I'm forgetting exactly the date that I planted these off the top of my head but I've got it written down so I will put it right here you'll see and I'll just say exactly how long. I want you guys to see that you can see they're sticking up out of the ground all of them here. We could leave them a couple more days but I think it's time. All right, so that one's not bad. All right, do you want to pull one up, Eli? Eli came outside, he wanted to help. Boy, you need a jacket on, bud, it's cold. No, no it All right, whatever. Go ahead, pull one up. Yeah, oh, that's a good one. Whoa. Sorry. There we go. Thank you. That's a good one. Yeah, these came out pretty good, so they're- Huge, imagine the ones in there. Yeah, they're gonna get big, all right. This one. Oh, look at that one. I wanted to pick that one back. Yeah, that one's huge, huh? That's reasonable. Oh, that's the smallest one. Yeah, yeah it's okay. Wait, brush the dirt off with your hand. You got it. All right, guys, so that's not a bad harvest. We got quite a few. And you can see what these do. Um, they leave big holes in the dirt, and which is good. So this is going to be nice and airy dirt. So it's also going to open this up and allow these onions here. I think this is the, yeah, this is the Texas sweet onions. That's going to give them some light and allow those to grow a little better. So the turnips here are not quite ready. So I'm going to wait on those. So you can see here, we've got a little bit of bulb growing, but they're just, they're supposed to get nice, big and fat like that. So, so I've got another couple weeks for those. So simple. We're just snapping off the the radishes. Here we go. There's going to be a lot for the chickens to eat. They love this stuff. This is actually like one of their favorite things to eat is radish greens for some reason. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> is it the spice? I don't know. They, they love it though. <laughs> All right, there we go, guys. So that'll be good in the stew. I'm going to be harvesting these turnips. And these are the last of this bed, the radish slash turnip bed. Now I kept on calling these radishes, uh, they're a turnip, so, uh, but they're the white globe. I'm gonna eat them today because we're gonna put them in a stew, so it is time. Also, this is gonna open this bed up because I've got some onions now growing in there and they're kind of blocking the light for, for some of those onions, so this is gonna open that up and allow those onions to see the daylight. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm gonna start on this side. And I've got a couple of them growing really close together. In fact, this one looks like it's a pretty good size. Yeah, there we go. That's a good turnip, actually. I'm pretty happy with that. And I think this is going to be the largest one, honestly. But that's not bad. It's also a pretty good looking turnip. A little smaller. And you can see one of them grew next to it. And it didn't do anything. And I didn't even know that was a double plant there. So that was too close. And that didn't. that's going to be for the chickens. I'm going to feed that to the chickens. Let's see, this one's a little smaller, but it's edible. I think they were all just growing a little too close together. You know, I'm kind of new to all this, so I wasn't really aware how big all this gets. I'm just going by the seed packet, how close to keep them. Now that one had nothing growing near it, but it didn't get too big, so I'm not sure what that's about. But I think it would have been better if I had them spaced out a little more, maybe not growing those onions too close. I mean, they were real small when I started planting the onions there. This looks like a good one. And that just ripped up. Oh, it split. Well, you guys let me know what that's about, why that split. I don't think I'm going to eat that one, even though it's a real nice big one. Let's get around to the other side. That's a good one. And last one. Nothing huge. And I feed this to my chickens. They like the greens a lot better than I do. That one there, I think that was the first one I picked is definitely the biggest. All right, guys. So there we go, there's the harvest. That's more than enough I need for this stew, but I still wanna pick some of the rutabaga. I'm gonna take these up inside real quick. My chickens are super excited. Been hearing them freaking out back here. Wanting it, they see me picking, they know that it's coming. There you go, guys. I love it. Radish and turnip greens are like their favorite. I'm not sure why. You can hear them cluck with glee. All right.
right, now for this rutabaga. I got two here. They're not huge, but I mean, rutabaga get real big, but it's gonna work. There we go. There's another one. Ooh, this one's probably the biggest. Or no, it's about the same size as the others. And there we go. Rutabaga. And look at this turnip. That got actually pretty good size. We'll do one, these two. We'll leave these others for a couple more weeks and see if they can get to good size. That goes to the chickens. I've got a couple other ones in there. Right, let's open this up. I've got a good one right there. And then these are just way too close together, so. Eh, we'll take those to the chickens. So there is the harvest. I'm going to hose this off before bringing it into the house. Just kind of clean it up, make it not so dirty. Of course, I'll have to clean them again when I get them in, but not too bad at all. Got a lot of root veggies here. I love turnips and radishes and rutabaga and all that. There's a rutabaga. Now, rutabaga and the purple top look very similar, but they are different. So rutabaga tastes a little sweeter. And these have more of a spicy taste to them, but they're all real good. I love them. And that spiciness goes away in stews. You just don't get that spiciness anymore in the stew. So there we go. There's the harvest. Now, I am done besides a couple of those over there. Um, but I am done with all this. But I did plant more. So I didn't plant rutabaga, but I planted more turnip. And right there, that row, it's not any of these turnips. So that turnip's called a starburst turnip. I've got some radishes as well throughout. All those bigger ones over there are radishes. They grow a lot quicker. I've got beets in here as well. So I've got some more root veggies growing and they'll be ready in a couple months here. Pretty excited about these. Might not be able to use them all. I might put a couple in my pantry because they store real well. Well, anyway, guys, if you like these kind of videos, please subscribe and also hit that bell notification for future video updates. If you could hit the like button as well, it would really help me and the channel out. And I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind. Well, I almost forgot to show you guys the date. It is December 